Hi guys, Movie Dive here. Today we are going to take a look at the recently released film The Tomorrow War. The story begins in December 2022, biology teacher and former Green Beret Dan Forrester is disappointed after failing to get a job at the Army Research Laboratory. Later, during the internationally televised World Cup, soldiers from the year 2051 arrive on the pitch via a time portal. They announced that in November 2048, aliens called White Spikes suddenly appeared in northern Russia and had wiped out most humans within a span of just three years. The world of the present day sends their militaries into the future through a rudimentary wormhole device, called the Jump Link. Few return, prompting an international draft, but fewer than 20% survive their seven-day deployment. Dan receives a draft notice and is fitted with a temporal armband to track him and pull him back if he is alive at the end of his seven days. The draftees are taught that, every six days, the white spikes crawl back into their nests and rest, called the Sabbath. The draftees are sent forward in time to a battlefield in Miami Beach, however, due to a malfunction, they are dropped hundreds of feet in the air and fall to their deaths, except a small group that lands in a pool on a building. Their commander then orders them to rescue nearby lab personnel before sterilizing the area. The draftees find that all the lab personnel are dead, but recover their research, and only Dan survives the firebombing with two fellow draftees, a scientist named Charlie and a draftee named Dorian, who is on his third deployment. Dan awakens in a forward operating base in Porta Plata overseen by his daughter Mori as colonel. Mori tells Dan there is a toxin that kills male white spikes, but not the female queens, and asks for his help in capturing a female white spike to refine the toxin to be fatal to them. She also tells Dan that in the past, he became disillusioned after failing to get his research job, divorced his wife Emmy, and died in a car crash when Mori was 16. They capture a female white spike but are attacked by hundreds of males and narrowly escape. They then travel to Deepswell, 9 a fortified offshore oil platform 25 miles east of Port Nelson, where the Jumplink facility is located. Mori succeeds in developing a toxin lethal to female white spikes, but it cannot be mass-produced in that time period, so she asks Dan to take it into the past to produce it there and prevent the war. However, the base is overrun by male white spikes in a coordinated effort to protect their queen, killing Mori, with Dan returned to the past, just in time. Contact is subsequently lost with the future, indicating that the jump link was destroyed and that the future war has been lost, leading to worldwide mass panic. Dan and Emmy later infer that the white spikes arrived on Earth earlier than 2048 as there was never a record of their ship arriving. After finding volcanic ash on an alien's claw, Dan and Charlie consult with Dan's student, Martin, an amateur volcanologist. It is determined that the white spikes have been on Earth at least since the Millennium Eruption in 946 AD. Dan leads a mission to Russia with Charlie, Dorian, Draftees, and his estranged father James, a veteran of the Vietnam War. They find the alien ship frozen in ice beneath the Academy of Sciences glacier and surmise that global warming may have freed them in the future. Additionally, the frozen bodies of a reptilian-like alien species are also found on board, causing the group to deduce that the ship had crash-landed on Earth, and that the white spikes were engineered to help wipe the native population off a planet in order to colonize. They then inject the lethal toxin into several white spikes who have been in a state of hypersleep, but this then awakens the rest of the colony who begin to attack the group. The queen white spike eventually awakens as well and escapes. Dorian, terminally ill with cancer, stays behind and blows up the ship while Dan and James pursue the Queen. After a fierce fight, Dan shoves the lethal toxin into the Queen's mouth and pushes her off a cliff, to her death. Content knowing that the war is averted and humanity is saved, Dan brings James home to meet Emmy Murray, and is determined to avoid the same mistakes that the future Murray warned him about. The design of aliens is one thing that is genuinely impressive about the Tomorrow War. They do look like nearly unstoppable killing machines with more tentacles that can be handled by humans. But even that sense of dread is minimized by inconsistencies. In the beginning of the movie nobody can figure out how to kill the alien creatures, and by the end, they are dispatched with relative ease. The Tomorrow War would have been a decent actioner, 
but the script is too substandard which makes it seem quite dull and generic. If you like these sorts of videos, do like and subscribe for more. See you again in the next one.